Hi and welcome back to this summary of section 11 of the strategic HR business partnership program uh, on performance uh, management. Well you've seen the material and you've seen the fact that um, too many people were having too many negative experiences, performance wasn't being driven by the business and it needed an intervention and HR found uh, a capability and found a series of interventions that were helpful for the business. We discovered that it wasn't about the tool and it wasn't about the process. It was about appetite and about capability. And as soon as we were able to influence and get people to see that and get business leaders and managers to see that, and that was not easy and it took a long time and it is still an ongoing process then we started to get performance management seen as a proactive front end to back end uh, you know, management of uh, uh, performance delivery. Uh, even today I, I, I can walk into a room and, and be running a performance management workshop and for the first half hour when I say performance management people think appraisal management uh, and it's not. Uh, and, and so ultimately we feel that a lot of the messages that you've just seen, a lot of the approaches that you've just seen, a lot of the suggestions that you've just seen are absolutely key for a business to recognize the best practices it can implement in delivering the performance levels that the strategic intention suggested. Uh, and despite the, the sort of oddity of HR being a conduit to that, our education and training uh, across the board, um, having been involved in it personally for many years, um, is seen to be able to make a difference. And so those last messages about educate and train, educate and train, educate and train, and then educate and train some more, for me still hold true uh, today. And, it, and will be, uh, for some period of time yet, uh, a significant contribution from HR to business performance. I'll be back with some more on this topic uh, in a later section.